Nancy Pelosi continues catching a lot of heat for the fact that she has refused Donald Trump's $1.8 trillion stimulus proposal. And one thing that's been overwhelmingly frustrating for me is that I haven't been able to find the language of Donald Trump's proposal. I thought maybe my research skills were getting a little dull, but it turns out that no one other than Nancy Pelosi has seen the details of that bill. And luckily, Ida Chavez wrote an excellent piece in The Intercept about this that I really want to emphasize because already there are so many strong feelings about what Pelosi should do. But we need to proceed with caution because this could be a situation in which Republicans try to take more hard earned taxpayer dollars and use it to benefit their friends. So no House Democrat other than Pelosi knows what's actually in the proposal. The top line spending amounts and some of the major provisions have been confirmed, but no one has seen the text and no one's sure what else Republicans have stuffed into it. Progressive lawmakers, many of whom criticize the CARES Act from the left, like representatives Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ilhan Omar have not come out and questioned the strategy of holding out. Omar has demanded that relief pass now, but is asking Republicans to pass the HEROES Act. And to be clear, the HEROES Act is what the House passed months ago. That is a more robust piece of legislation that prioritizes the needs of ordinary Americans. Um, now, Ocasio-Cortez has not spoken out about the current offer, though in September she urged Democrats to hold out for a large package that includes significant health funding and aid for state and local governments. So yesterday we had a conversation with Senator Sanders about this because I was curious to hear his take on this story. Is there any concern that Trump's proposal is not really what he's making it out to be. Let's watch. There right, is right. concern that Trump could use that appropriated money. Let's say in a you know incredible situation where McConnell actually does successfully pass Trump's version. There's some concern that that money could be used as Trump's personal slush fund. Do you have any details on that? Well, Anna, I think your point is is well taken. You know, people say 2.2, 1.8. What's the difference? The difference is in fact in the details. And I think one of the things that Trump wants, and I have zero doubt would use is a slush front to suddenly go out to all of the battleground states already using, using a lot of money in agriculture to be spending money on farmers around the country whose votes he desperately needs. So you're right, as I understand it, although it's always very unclear when you deal with Trump, because I'm not sure that he knows what he is talking about. So it's hard to know what the White House is referring to. And so I want to get your thoughts on this, Waz. How do you feel about Nancy Pelosi's decision to reject Trump's stimulus proposal? Well, if you read more into the Washington Post piece, she sent out a letter to her to her colleagues saying that Donald Trump is trying to get a, a win by sending twelve hundred dollars with the check on it with the a twelve hundred dollar check with his name on it. Excuse me, ahead of the election in order to curry favor with the voters and the implication being that. We don't want to give Donald Trump a win, which I just think is just foolhardy tactics. He's clearly lost on the pandemic. Tens of millions of people are out of work, suffering. We've seen people, that's not to mention the 200,000 people who have died, more and more people getting sick by the day. This is a loser for him. I don't know that a check, a one time payment, going to save him in any meaningful way. And so I just think Pelosi's strategy here is just off. It's misguided and wrongheaded. It reminds me of something that happened in my world and in basketball. When the Lakers were trying to trade for Anthony Davis, there was this rumor going around that they didn't want to give up Kyle Kuzma. Because Kyle Kuzma was just seen as just this untouchable, great young piece. And so the Pelicans, not really wanting Kuzma in the first place, were like, "Oh no, we." Okay, if you're not gonna give us Cal Kuzma, then give us every single draft pick for the rest of your life. And the Lakers is like, <laughs> okay, cool. This is Nancy Pelosi. It's like, oh no, we we can't give you twelve hundred dollars with your name on it. We will. It's just it's just terrible um, strategy. It's terrible policy. Uh, if 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 she was smart, I think she would challenge Mitch McConnell 
to mm -hmm. go against the president. Um, I'm sorry, there's nothing the president advocates for that his that is ever unpopular with his base. You can go down the line from China, Putin to whatever. Donald Trump is in favor of something, his base will follow him. So I think McConnell, they, they, Pelosi, if she was smart, she would just put him in a bind and go against the president because that's always a losing proposition for Republicans. Yeah, I mean, look, I am really curious how McConnell would act if push came to shove. Uh, but you know, it, I am also a little worried about what Trump's proposal does entail because uh, there has been a slow and steady drip of information uh, regarding that proposal. And one of the things that's a non-starter for Democrats, and it should be a non-starter for Democrats, it should be a non-starter for any reasonable human who has any ounce of empathy or compassion. They want to provide liability uh, protection. Yep. To companies and corporations, meaning that if you're like Amazon in the early days of the pandemic and you don't, you know, spend a couple dollars to prevent your employees from getting sick, you don't provide masks or anything like that, or social social distancing measures, you don't implement them. Well, if your employees try to sue you, you don't have to worry about it because passage of the Trump version of the bill would prevent these companies from having to face any consequences for refusing to protect the health and safety of their workers. Uh, so I bring that up because I just I feel like there's a lack of honesty in the way the story is being covered, right? Like that's that's where a lot of my frustration comes from. On one hand, I totally agree with you, and Americans need financial assistance right now. This this does not need to be politicized. But of course, we have two parties that don't seem to be you know too concerned with getting this done as quickly as possible. But on the other hand. We both know that if Pelosi played ball with Trump and passed his version of the proposal, and let's say miraculously Mitch McConnell passed it, there would be all these components to that bill that people like you and I would be trashing on our shows, right? <laughs> so I just want us to be honest about that because there seems to be this like strong urge to like tell Pelosi, you need to pass. What Trump wants right away? Okay, but what's in that bill? How can you have a strong? How can you have a strong opinion unless you know what's actually in that legislation? Now moving on to McConnell, because I think you know you made a really great point there, and it would be interesting to see how he would act if Pelosi signed on to Trump's bill. Well, McConnell, for the moment being, is refusing to really help any ordinary American out, even as. A whopping 8 million Americans have slipped into poverty during this pandemic. Watch. What we laid out, a half a trillion dollars, highly targeted, is the best way to go. And so that's what I'm going to put on the floor. It's what Senate Republicans, 52 of the 53 of us, feel like is an appropriate response. You're correct. There were discussions going on between the Secretary of the Treasury and the Speaker about a higher amount. Um, that's not what I'm going to put on the floor. So McConnell, for his part, refuses any type of real aid to average Americans. He just wants to provide $500 billion in aid that's mostly directed toward helping companies that are struggling right now. Yeah, that to me, that's McConnell. That's a bluff, in my opinion. When he comes out with the 500 number, it's sort of a negotiation tactic. It's like the Dems want 2.2. The president, who's basically my boss, wants 1.8. I'm going to throw out this opening salvo of 500 and sort of meet them some way, way under what both of them want and pass it. Because the bottom line is when they passed the first CARES Act, that wasn't a McConnell bill. <laughs> McConnell didn't want that. That's not something he was, you know, sort of lobbying for to pass. I think what you're seeing there is McConnell saying, look, I don't want to do this in the first place. But if the president forces my hand, I'll play ball at some smaller number and like you mentioned before and to figure out a way to get my cronies the help that they desperately need and want like you know mm -hmm. who cares about average Americans which I guess in this bill they're saying 400 bucks on top of the unemployed insurance benefits which is a $200 decrease and they're saying of course another $1200 check signed by Donald <laughs> J Trump I mean that check <laughs> look any any little bit of help um, is appreciated like don't get me wrong I don't want to minimize how much $1200 can help uh, an average American who's really struggling right now but 
Like the one time nature of it is so insulting and infuriating. And like you're right, I mean, it, it, it really is a, a stunt by Trump to have his name on a check, which, you know, I, I don't know how effective that is. Quite honestly, I don't care. Look, I, I think that people are making a really great point here, and I think it's an accurate point regarding um, at least some of Pelosi's intentions here. Uh, the sunk Biden's brain, or they sunk. I'm sorry, they shrunk Biden's brain from our member <laughs> section. Jeez, writes in and says, uh, Pelosi doesn't want to put relief through uh, because she thinks Trump will benefit. Close, close to the election, Waz is right, people's minds are already made up, help them now. Um, so thank you so much uh, for that comment and I totally hear you on that. But let's also accept that Trump's version of the bill likely does have um, some components to it provisions that will in the long run at least, or maybe even in the short term, negatively impact American workers, many of whom are forced to go back to work right now. And if these companies can you know, save a couple pennies and prevent spending any type of money on safety equipment or social distancing for their employees, they're gonna save a couple pennies. And, and so- but- I'll start, Anna. And I think another part of that needs to be calculated here that that I think Pelosi needs to think about is that you know for a fact under Biden presidency nothing's getting passed straight up and down unless you know unless the the Democrats are able to take the House. I just I find it hard to believe that under a Biden presidency that he would sign off on. 1.8 1.8 trillion, 1.5 trillion, 2 trillion, whatever you want to call it, for Joe Biden to play with, because we've shown what he's, what's been his posture in the past under Democratic presidencies, which is to obstruct, which is to delay, which is to do nothing at any and all costs. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I think I think you're right about that. So this is really a dire situation. Um, and we we have people who would much rather politicize every moment of this pandemic rather than do what's necessary to keep Americans safe and to make sure that they're fed and housed during the pandemic. It's so unbelievably infuriating, but we promise to stay on the story and update you guys as we learn more about what the different proposals entail. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.